Hi, in this video I will show you a few operations for creating 3D solids in Plasticity using this simple example. Plasticity is easy to use software where we can create our own 3D models. Such models can be used among other things for 3D printing. Here, this system is a bit different from typical parametric 3D CAD systems. It is a software designed for direct modeling, meaning we do everything directly in the workspace, right on the model. We don't have an operation history here, we simply make all changes directly to the model. In some cases, this can be a huge advantage because it makes learning such software quite fast and understanding the basics is really quick. We can start working with this software very easily and we can start creating our own models. Moreover, we have limited chances of the program crashing during 3D modeling, which can also be an advantage for people who use such software occasionally and it is not their primary working tool. Okay, now I will move on to a new project in Plasticity and we will go ahead to create this type of part. Of course, the goal of this video is not to create exactly such a part, but simply based on such a simple part, I want to show you how to create precise 3D models in this program. We will begin by creating a cube. Select the center box command. To select this command, hover over it with the left mouse button. Press the left mouse button and hover the cursor over this command. When you release the cursor, this command will be active. Next, we hover over the origin of the coordinate system and here the snap is activated. To have snaps active, we need to have the enable snapping option turned on. This way, we will have snapping to specific points. Hover the cursor over this area and click the left mouse button. Now we need to specify the dimensions of this cube. To precisely define the dimensions, press the tab key. Enter 30, then hit tab, and here enter 50, and hit enter. Now we need to specify the height of this cube. To do this precisely, press the D key. Enter 30, and hit enter, and hit enter again to confirm. We have such a simple cube. Now we will create another sketch on this face. Select this face. I would like to remind you that we have selection modes. Currently, the modes for edge selection, face selection and solid selection are active. If you would like to select one of these modes, simply click here with the left mouse button or use the keys. To activate edge selection, hit the 2 key. To activate face selection, hit the 3 key. And to activate solid selection, hit the 4 key. Here, I will go back to face selection, I hit the 3 key. The face is selected and I press the spacebar to activate the temporary construction plane. Now we will draw a circle whose center will lie at the origin of the coordinate system. Select the circle drawing, click with the left mouse button in this area. For the diameter of the circle, enter 5 millimeters, so press the tab key, hit 5, hit enter and we have drawn a circle. Now I will move this circle along the X axis. To do this, activate the move command. We can select this command here or press the G key on the keyboard. Now we move along the global X axis, but in this case it will be a movement along the Y axis. We can do this by grabbing the Y axis or we can also do it this way. We select the geometry press the G key, then press the Y key and enter the displacement value of 15 millimeters and press enter and enter again to confirm. This way, we have precisely and quickly moved this geometry. Now we will add a mirror copy of this geometry. This geometry is selected, choose the mirror command. We can use the keyboard shortcut Alt plus X define the mirror plane. Click here to get the mirror copy of this circle on this side and click OK to confirm. Now select the line drawing and draw a line in such a way that the first point of the line lies on this circle and the second point of the line is drawn so that the tangent tangent constraint is activated so that this line is right at the top of those circles. Click the right mouse button to finish drawing this line. 
Again, we select the line drawing and draw such a line from the other side. We could also use a mirror image here, but we can simply draw such a line and click the right mouse button to accept this line. Next, we will use the geometry trimming command and trim the segments of the circles. These geometries are single lines. I will switch to line selection, and as you can see, these geometries are not connected. We can connect them together by selecting these geometries either here in the features list or in the workspace. In the workspace, we do this by holding the shift key and pressing the J key to join these geometries. Now it is one single geometry. Next, I press the G key to activate the move command. And we will move this geometry by 8 millimeters along the Y axis. To do this, I enter the value 8 here and click OK to confirm. Then close the temporary construction plane and we have created such geometry here. Now I press the 3 key to switch to face selection. I select this area and here I pull the gizmo so that I can add a solid that will stick out from this cube. Thus, based on this extrusion, we will remove material from this cube. To create a hole here, we use the difference command. Press the W key and then select the solid from which we will subtract this extrusion, which means we just click the left mouse button on this cube and click OK to confirm. This way, we created something like this. I will also turn off the visibility of flat geometry, and we will create another flat geometry to remove material from this cube. We will create a sketch on this face. I select this face and press the spacebar to activate the temporary construction plane. Here, I choose to draw a rectangle from the center. I hover over the rectangle drawing command with the left mouse button. Press the left mouse button and move the cursor over this command and release the cursor and this command is selected. As the center of the rectangle, I click in this area and for the second point, I hover over this edge. As for this dimension, we will define it using the snap, but I would like to precisely specify the width of this rectangle. Therefore, I press the tap key, enter 20, and the second dimension will be 50 millimeters. I press enter to confirm, and we have something like this. I close the temporary construction plane, and we have created such a rectangle. Now I select this rectangle, pull the gizmo, and here, to precisely specify the extrusion value, I press the D key and enter minus 25 millimeters so that the length of this extrusion is 25 millimeters, and so that this extrusion is directed exactly in this direction. Then I press the W key and select this cube to specify that I will be removing this extrusion from this cube, and I click OK to confirm. I turn off the visibility of flat geometry, and we have something like this. Now we will create another sketch. We will create a sketch on this face. I select this face, press the spacebar, and now we choose to draw a circle. We will draw two circles whose centers will lie at the origin of the coordinate system. One circle will have a diameter of 10 millimeters, so I click the left mouse button to specify the center of the circle. Then hit the tab key, enter 10, hit enter, and again select the circle drawing. Place the center of the circle at this point. Hit the tab key, enter 20, hit enter, and we have two such circles. I switch to edge selection, press the 2 key on the keyboard, and with the shift key, I select these two circles. Then I activate the move command. So I press the G key on the keyboard and move these circles along the local X axis by 35 millimeters, which means I hit the X key, enter 35, and hit enter to confirm. Hit enter again to finish this command. Next, these geometries are selected. I choose the mirror command. And to define the mirror plane, 
I click with the left mouse button here and click OK to finish. Similarly to drawing a slot, I select line drawing and draw a line in such a way that the first point of the line lies on this circle and the second point of the line is drawn so that the tangent snap is activated here and I click the right mouse button to finish drawing this line. Next, this line is selected. I select the mirror command and add a mirror copy to get the same line on the other side and I click OK to confirm. I close the temporary construction plane and switch to area selection. With the shift key, I select the areas based on which I want to add an extrusion. Then I press the D key, enter 5 to specify that the extrusion will have a height of 5 mm and click OK to confirm. As you can notice, a second solid has been created. These two solids are not connected, they are separate solids. I turn off the visibility of flat geometries. I select the first visible flat geometry, hold down the shift key, select the last visible geometry and click here with the eye icon to turn off the visibility of flat geometries. Now, to turn these two solids into one solid, we select these two solids in the features list using the control key or switch to solid selection and using the shift key select these solids in the workspace. Then we activate the boolean operation, which is an operation that allows, among other things, to combine two solids. We can click here or press the Q key. In this case, the solid subtraction operation has been activated by default, but if we switch to the union option, these two solids will be combined together. We click OK. Now this solid is one single solid. Next, I switch to edge selection, so I press the two key on the keyboard, and with the shift key, I select the edges of the solid where I want to add fillets. A useful working mode is the X-ray mode, which displays invisible edges. In this mode, we can select these edges. We can turn this X-ray mode on or off by clicking this icon. By default, the fillet command has been activated and let's add here a radius of 5 mm, so I press the D key. As you can see, we have the option to specify the radius dimension or the chamfer dimension. We press the D key, then the 5 key and hit enter to confirm and hit enter again to finish this command. With these few steps we created such a solid and based on this solid I was able to show you a few basic operations for creating 3D solids in plasticity. We will end here, thank you for watching and please subscribe to this channel.